Three new underground lakes have been detected near the South Pole of Mars. Scientists also confirmed the existence of a fourth lake, the presence of which was hinted in 2018. Liquid water is vital for biology, so the finding will be of interest to researchers studying for life elsewhere in the solar system. But the lakes are also thought to be extremely salty, which could pose challenges for the survival of any microscopic life forms. Billions of years ago, water flowed in rivers and pooled in lakes on the Martian surface. But Mars has since lost much of its atmosphere, which means water can't stay liquid for long on the surface today. However, it's a different matter underground. As Mars was undergoing its climatic catastrophe and turning from a relatively warm planet to a frozen rock, there was a place where life could adapt and survive. And the place was underground. The latest discovery was made using data from a radar instrument on the European Space Agency's Mars Express spacecraft, which has been orbiting the red planet since December 2003. In 2018, researchers used data from the spacecraft's radar to report signs of a 20 km wide subsurface lake, located 1.5 km under the south polar layered deposits, which is a thick polar cap formed by layers of ice and dust. Now, a team including many of the same scientists from the 2018 study, have analyzed a much bigger dataset of 134 radar profiles gathered between 2010 and 2019. Not only did they confirm the position, extent and strength of the reflector from the 2018 study, but they also found three new bright areas. The main lake is surrounded by smaller bodies of liquid water, but because of the technical characteristics of the radar and of its distance from the Martian surface, they cannot conclusively determine whether they are interconnected. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel, that way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. There's not enough heat at these depths to melt the ice, so scientists believe the liquid water must contain high concentrations of dissolved salts. These chemical salts can significantly lower water's freezing point. In fact, recent experiments have shown that water with dissolved salts of magnesium and calcium perchlorate can remain liquid at temperatures of minus 123 degrees Celsius. These experiments have demonstrated that brines can persist for geologically significant periods of time, even at the temperatures typical of the Martian polar regions, considerably below the freezing temperature of pure water. Some hypersaline lakes on Earth can reach salt concentrations of 40%. Just how saline the lakes are on Mars isn't something that's known precisely. The lake's salinity is of particular relevance to the life question. Terrestrial microbes that thrive in very salty conditions are known as halophiles. But studies have shown that bugs can tolerate more extreme salinities when temperatures are higher and colder temperatures when salinity is lower. The range of conditions microorganisms can withstand is more limited when environments are both very saline and very cold because of a double whammy effect. There is ongoing research into whether life could survive in conditions like those in the lakes on Mars. Salt in very high concentrations is not very friendly to life. It is still a possibility, but there's much more work to do. The fact such lakes could have persisted for much of Martian history means they could still retain traces of any life forms that could have evolved when Mars had a dense atmosphere, a milder climate and the presence of liquid water on the surface, similar to the early Earth. 